So, here today on this video, I'm going to discuss why you would want to use a pendulum. Pendulum, well, what is a pendulum? Well, pendulum, length of string, chain, uh, cord, a pendant at the end, any, any style, there's two. Well, the pendulum swings like a pendulum do. And when it swings, it's swinging in directions that are often controlled by your subconscious. And when you lay that against a chart that has, oh, well, we're going to spin forward, it has answers to the questions you're going to ask of the chart's possible responses. Um, frequently, your pendulum will swing in the direction that is uh, most obvious to you, a yes or no, you ask a yes no question, you already know the answer, it'll still correspond to your answer. However, there are times when it will not, and this is where um, we get into what could be called brainstorming with your subconscious mind. Now, what is the advantage, advantage of brainstorming with your con subconscious mind? Uh, you get more input and it's like having a, another person in the room even though it's still you and that person is quite likely a good friend in other words your choices frequently correspond but there are times when your friend has their own unique voice and they want to be heard and this is the way for it to, that subconscious voice to be heard is through the swing of the pendulum. Now uh, you might say, well, it's just swinging. However, what causes it to swing in any particular direction? Well, while you're holding it, your hand is tremoring. And the, the net result, as we can observe here, through my exaggeration, of course, is it always goes to a center point or very close proximity. It's not as, none of that is going to cause that. that. This is too general. However, when you're asking a question and you're looking at the chart or map and it reveals paths that you may take in plot or characterization, this is not going to, this is going to follow one of those directions and it's going to be a product of your hand, even though it's trembling very very microscopic kind of trimmers as you might see in the in the other uh, video recordings but your subconscious mind looking at the pendulum looking at all the possible uh, responses will give a little nudge that's its voice that's its voice and it rises above all other distractions to give that pendulum a push towards a novel answer that you might not, might not have considered or even rejected. Your subconscious brainstorming is going to lead you into novel solutions, uh, twists, turns, not often, not often, 5% of the time. Five, one in 20 questions is going to surprise you. Maybe not immediately, and some of my videos have revealed that in my own uh, analysis of myself. Uh, but also, well, where was I going with this? <laughs> Your subconscious mind will prevail in these moments. If you have built the skill of using the pendulum to swing towards the answers, uh, by allowing your subconscious mind to contribute to the pushing of the pendulum because you can certainly swing it and we're not talking about that here uh, we're talking about the subconscious mind's integration into the storyline and you have to have it you have to allow the subconscious its voice and we don't no nudges that'll occur that'll occur but if you, if you stick with it, the process of using the pendulum will reveal to you hidden opportunities 
hidden gold. A lot of hidden stuff here, folks, because one, one, one out of 20 answers is going to surprise you. And that's where you want to go. The more you do this, uh, well, the more opportunities. Yes. So, good pendulum swinging. Stay tuned for further uh, episodes. Thank you. This is going to turn out great.